Okay, that is awesome. <laughs> Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things LEGO. Hit the link below to find a store near you. LEGO tackling the real-life items in Bricks is nothing new, right? The typewriter comes to mind, the Nintendo NES, the Atari, as far as the game consoles, few other items here and there, but the retro radio tries to take it another level with sounds. That's awesome. LEGO sent this set to us for review. Thank you so much for that. The numbers are 906 pieces for 100 bucks. Second set to include the sound brick in the history of LEGO. The first one, the sorting hat, was a little bit less of a deal. You had that Harry Potter tax with much less pieces for the same price tag. Here we have just the icon set, so the price is a little bit better. Fun fact, for the first time, at least for me, this set came with paper bags. Those are fun. I actually like them a lot. Easy to open, you can recycle, the pieces are easier to get out and they don't rustle as much as the other bags, so I'm a fan. Hopefully when this set launches on June 1st, uh, it's gonna have paper bags for everyone. The retro manual has nice pastel look, lots of kind of mellow colors, few good words about the designers as usual, few words about the radio itself, and actually uh, tidbits of um, fun facts of radio's invention history throughout as you build. Pretty cool. And just like the manual, the set is aesthetically pleasing. You can place it around the house in different locations, in your creative space, in your home office, in your living room. It looks great. It's one of those sets that it's kind of cheesy to say, but you don't really know it's Lego. If you're a layman and just look at it from afar, you gotta get close to see a Technic uh, pin poking a little bit, um, the under studs on the back, some studs on the front and on the handle. That's pretty much it. The design techniques, the building techniques in this set are not something super groundbreaking, but for example, the way the walls attached on the side with the uh, very short Technic pins is pretty ingenious, gives you, allows you to have almost no studs on the inside to attach this thing. It only is being held by the corner studs if you build it. Fun experience, you know, the set looks very sleek from the outside. You kind of can tell that it has some really fun things going on inside. And I think that's the principle of such things. Simple looking things, they ex take extra skill to actually design. And this applies here. Looking simple, but fun to build. Also, if you look super close, it kind of looks like a face. You know, eyes, nose, and the mouth with the speaker. Yeah, you cannot see it, can you? Hey, by the way, if you like the shirt I'm wearing, you can get yours today. These shirts are made in partnership between Beyond the Brick and Bricks and Minifigs stores. So you can get those at participating Bricks and Minifigs locations with all these cool logos and Bricks are my sport. And you can also order one online at the link in the description below. Color is nice. I really like that ocean blue, I like to call it for some reason, I don't know. If you are short on the leather pieces in white, this set has plenty. Everything is printed. You get a retro Lego logo in the front on a 2x4 tile. The AM FM switch on the front is like a printed bracket. There is a NPU right there in the middle, a minifigure fin piece, a diver's fin, as a switcher, super cool little thing. And also the printed scale of the AM and FM bands. The cool part is that uh, there is a Harry Potter red wand in the middle. That is the indicator where you're at. The uh, knob on the right, uh, moves around the uh, the scale. It's super smooth and nice. There's a cor corkscrew, I like to call it, piece inside that makes it happen. So that one I think was used in those elevators from what the latest I recall was the Friends Mansion set. Uh, there was an elevator in the middle. And the switch on the left is the on-off, which actually has a click, like a rubbery click because the design for this, for this there's a rubbery piece inside. It's actually almost over-engineered. That's how crazy it is. But they did it, so that whole mechanism you built does this. <laughs> Pretty cool. That printed AM and FM scale is actually printed to the edge of the brick, so that's something we should have seen in the Green Gods uh, bank from Harry Potter. Remember that gap? Yeah, that made some jokes in the community, right? This one seems to be very close to the edge. However, they are a little bit misaligned, so that's something I noticed. Not sure if it's a quality check or something, but you can see a little bit of a misalignment on the print. There is also the antenna you can flip open. Those are the candle pieces in silver. Those are not gray. Maybe the camera can mislead you, but those are actual silver candle pieces, which is super nice. The antenna can snap back in place. There's also a piece 
of silver on this rod at the top. So that's some silver in the set. And the handle is super simple on two Technic connections. Makes this carryable, of course. The set is not heavy, so I don't have any kind of uh, fright that I might drop it from the handle. There's a Technic holding here, Technic holding here. And the set is lightweight enough. You can, you know, carry it as a boombox and hang out. That was, that was cringe. Oh, by the way, also the nougat in the front. Looks sleek. Everything is sleek about the set that I mentioned already. All right, so the functions are uh, basically two main functions. The switch, the flip. Actually, there's a connection. You flip it on the on. There's a printed on off as well. You flip it on the on. It actually activates a mechanism inside that allows the band switcher to activate the sound brick. Pretty cool. Without it, if you go on to off, you just have a passive, non-functional band, um, you know, switch that moves the needle but doesn't do anything. You go to on, heal the click, and now the magic happens because the special mechanism inside is engaged now and can actually reach the sound bricks on button or play button. Apparently, as the manual states also, LEGO recorded, edited all these sound bits except for the Everything is Awesome uh, musical version of the song. Uh, everything else is LEGO produced in-house. Kind of cool. One more thing to show is how do you access the sound brick, right? So you just uh, have this red slot for your finger in the back of the radio. Just put your finger there, remove the whole panel. It comes very easily, just has only a few studs attached, so it just holds up well, kind of weird panel here. And the sound brick is actually just like attached to the, to the back of the radio with just a few studs. So you can take it off, change the battery, all things, and you can play it just like, you know, like so. That's the static, right? That's the weather report and it's randomized, so. That's like a 50s or 60s, astro 60s astronaut commercial with the ham, that's fun. Yeah, like a, like a color trivia. And there is the song. <laughs> See, like, every few clicks you just find it randomly. So there is that. All right. I'm always vibing to this, always. One last function uh, in this radio is actual phone holder. So there's a rubbery uh, mount inside. I have a Pixel 8. So Pixel 8 is not a big phone. It will fit in here, just kind of slot it in like so it holds there so you can play you know any youtube stream or any spotify playlist through this and the way it's designed it's actually gonna go through the front speaker there is like an opening there are gaps through those um, ladder pieces and they will play um, your phone's audio quite well because there is no nothing really blocking it uh, I think a bigger phone could fit here. It can really extend up to a wider phone. There are no really wider phones. As far as the length goes, maybe an iPhone Pro Max will not fit because my Pixel 8 has like very little space left here. So would I recommend the Retro Radio for 100 bucks? That's kind of a question you should answer yourself. Would you buy the sorting hat for 100 bucks about much less pieces? The Soundbrick is a novelty. Um, it is bringing the price of the set up. Probably an icon set of this many pieces with nothing really of a specialty pieces here. There is nothing really super special about it, except for some prints and stuff like that. Nothing really screams that the price, that's so you can tell that the soundbreak is taking a lot of that price tag, right? Um, you would probably buy a retro radio for much cheaper on some, you know, flea market or something, and it's gonna actually be a radio with functional antenna that's gonna capture some radio waves and play actual music for you. The Soundbrick does make this a gimmicky thing because the quality of the speaker of the Soundbrick is pretty good, it's pretty loud, and it has some distortion, so they did, they made the recordings sound like they're from the 60s, 70s, and the actual size of the speaker in the Soundbrick makes it sound like a retro transistor radio, right? So in that regard, it does have some quality of gimmicky effect. 
Definitely for people who like a nice gadget that can turn some heads and when you show people it's actually Lego, they will be like, oh really? And then you kind of tell them the price and like, oh wow, you could have probably gotten like three radios for that price or something like that. I don't know how much retro, retro radios go for these days, so maybe I'm wrong here. Nevertheless, I am pleased with this set. It maybe doesn't show the price, but I like when Lego innovates stuff like that. The sorting hat was a demonstrator of technology that Sandbrick can be a cool thing and people really liked it despite its price. So this is just another approach and with the fun functionality when you can have this as a thing on your desk and maybe you can squeeze a very small Bluetooth speaker inside or something. I don't, I didn't even try maybe like an Echo Dot from, from Amazon. They, they can get very thin. I think the older models, maybe it can squeeze in there uh, instead of a phone and then you can have a Bluetooth speaker playing music for you while you're working on your desk and the music is actually playing from a cool looking Lego, you know, item. Why not, right? Like, you can think in those categories. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks to LEGO again for saying this for review. I really enjoyed building it, and I hope you will as well, coming on June 1st to a LEGO store near you. Thanks for watching.